Live from Manila, Philippines, Carousel Productions proudly presents a glittering spectacle of natural beauty. Welcome to the inaugural coronation night of the Miss Earth Beauty Pageant. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ivana Galešić, and I'm from Croatia. Stop polluting the environment because new generation depends on it. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Katarina Svensson, and I'm representing Denmark. Take care, take personal responsibility, and do what you can to protect our environment. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Katari Nunez. I'm from Dominican Republic. Save the planet! Good evening to everybody. My name is Grace and I'm representing El Salvador. Let's save the world. I love you, Philippines! Magandang gabi po! My name is Evelyn and I represent Estonia. Love and respect our Mother Earth and you love yourself and other people. Mahal ko 
kayong raha. But good evening everyone. My name is Nardos Talao and I am representing Ethiopia. Please save our motherland. I love you all. Hello everyone. My name is Martina and I come from Finland. Clean your surroundings. Thank you, Philippines. Mabuhay. My name is Charlene Figueras and I'm representing Gibraltar. Let's start working proactively to restore Mother Earth's resources. Hola, soy Carmina Paz y represento Guatemala. Amemos la Madre Tierra. Good evening, everyone. My name is Justina from Hungary. Please save the dolphins. Thank you. Mabuhay, Philippines. My name is Shamita and I come from India. We share our planet with other species from the animal kingdom. Let's be kind to animals. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mrs. Hirayama. I come from Japan. Stop air pollution! Buonasera a tutti. Mi chiamo Monica e vengo dall'Italia. My name is Monica and I represent Italy. Um, I want to say... Save our Earth. Thank you. Salamat po. Good evening, everyone. My name is Margarita Kapsova. I come from Kazakhstan. We are children on this planet. Love Mother Earth. Love nature. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Akwa Bonsu from Kenya. I want to thank you all for being here tonight. And I ask you all to take care of our ozone layer by stop using aerospace that emits fluorocarbons into our air. Salamat for everyone. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Yelena Kieran, and I represent Latvia. Please be kind to nature. Thank you. Maganda gabi sa iyo lahat. My name is Adel. I'm from Lebanon. Keep the Mother Earth clean. I love you all. Thank you. Salamat malam. And uh, my name is Joey. I come from Malaysia. Salamat po! Mabuhay, Philippines. I'm Jane Lee and I'm coming from Philippines. Oh, sorry, forgot I'm coming from the Netherlands. But this way, oh, I love the Philippines. Good evening, everyone. My name is Abby Flynn, representing New Zealand. Please keep recycling. Hello, my name is Carla Leclerc Monson. I am from Nicaragua. Please say the mother. I love you, Philippines! <laughs> my name is Eliana Khan. I represent Panama. Don't destroy the nature because you are destroying ourselves. Good evening. My name is Paola Barrera and I'm from Peru. Please stop diamond fishing. Salama Po! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Carlina Aguilar, representing the Pearl of the Orient Sea, Philippines. Buhayin po natin muli ang ating kalikasan. Mabuhay, Pilipinas! Maganda gabi. Mabuhay. My name is Amarisa Reyes, and I come from Puerto Rico. Safe energy, safe life. Good evening, everyone. My name is Victoria. I come from Russia. Please stop burning our forest. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. My name is Juan Yuyi Kalista Ong. I represent a beautiful country, Singapore. And please stop illegal longly. Mabuhay! We are in Dharma's Nira. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Inaka, proudly representing South Africa. Please protect our environment. Good evening, Filipinas. My name is Noemi, and I come from Spain. I am very, very happy to be here. I'm pleased. Save our seas. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lisa Shuyun Chao, and I'm from Taiwan. Remember, there is a cash in your trash. I'm Hilda from Tanzania. We live what we sow, and if we plant small trees and take care of our environment, we're going to have good future for the generations and generations. Salamat. Good evening, everybody. My name is Victoria Bajot. I'm from Thailand. All of us share one planet. Let's take care of it. Mabuhay, Philippines. My name is Kyoza Badr. I am from Turkey. Have safe the ever 
Mabuhai. My name is Abigail Royce, and I'm representing the United States of America. I think we should all really work together to protect our ecological biodiversity. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Hola, mi nombre es Lirik Mel Ramos y represento a la República de Venezuela. Gracias. Good evening to you all. My name is Shian Lanti and I'm from Zanzibar. We have one planet. Let's take care of it. Let's take care of Mother Earth. Thank you all. Salamat po. My name is Emma Suwanalak from Thailand, and I am very proud to be one of your hosts during tonight's prestigious event. Now, being a former queen myself, I know just how excited all these lovely ladies are behind me to be taking part in the first ever global and environmentally aware beauty pageant. But before going any further, let me introduce you to two other people who will be sharing in the hosting honors with me tonight. Channel B's very vibrant Asha and the suave Jamie Kachirana. Well, thank you very much, Emma, and welcome everybody to this very fantastic night. I am so thrilled to be here in the Philippines, and I'm especially thrilled to be in the presence of 42 of the most stunning women in the whole wide world. What do you think about that, Jaime? <laughs> hello, Philippines, and hello, world. You are absolutely right, Asha. We'd like to thank uh, Ms. Chinchin Gutierrez for that wonderful rendition of the pageant's theme. It's entitled Woman of the Earth and it was composed and written by Mr. While, Let me see done. if I get this right. Dero Pedero. Now the organizers, yes, give them a big hand. The organizers, Car Carousel Productions, has done an incredible job of bringing together 42 of the world's most beautiful women. But not only that, tonight we have the chance to hear these 42 women speak about how they can respond to Mother Nature's SOS. Now, the girls have been busy for the last following days, and we're going to see what they've been up to right after this when Miss Earth 2001 returns. everybody. Since Miss Earth is the only global earth preservation beauty pageant, it's very important that all of our candidates possess a sound knowledge and awareness of Mother Earth and the ecosystem. That's why since our candidates have flown in, they've been very busy doing a lot of activities and earth preservation work. And if you want to see what I'm talking about, then take a look at this and you'll see just what I mean. The first official activity for Miss Earth 2001 was the contract signing with the presenters, major and minor sponsors, held at the Venezia Bar and Restaurant last September 13, 2001. Then the Miss Earth Beauty event went into full swing with the arrival of the delegates who were warmly met at the airport by the Staten Pasig City. In furtherance of the environmental mission of the Miss Earth pageant, the girls joined a motorcade with the Bantay Kalikasan organization for a tree planting activity at the La Mesa Dam. October 15 was athletics and fun for the environmental beauties, 
when they have their sports fest at the very exclusive Manila Polo Club. Our delegates met, interacted, and matched skills and hustle in several events with our presenters, major and minor sponsors. The following morning started with a courtesy visit to one of Miss Earth's principal supporters, Chairman Benjamin S. Abalos of the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority. After the flag raising ceremony, Chairman Abalos gave the girls an educational talk about proper waste management. Immediately after this, our beauties were off to their visit to some of our country's tourism spots. Some of the delegates went to Cebu, where they stayed at the beautiful Plantation Bay, while the others proceeded to the Matapungkay Beach Resort. Those who went to Cebu were honored by a dinner hosted by the governor of the province, the Honorable Pablo B. Garcia, and had a grand time experiencing the hospitality of the people from the Queen City of the South. At Matabungkay, the girls were warmly received by Balayan Mayor Emmanuel Fronda. They planted trees at the specially created Miss Earth Garden right on the resort and attended and enjoyed a very informative and rewarding environmental seminar conducted by actor and ecology advocate Roy Alvarez. The two groups returned to Manila and met at the airport to fly to their next destination, the island of Palawan. Our beauties felt genuine Palawenyo hospitality immediately after they alighted from the plane. First stop in Palawan was at the provincial capital where they were accorded a warm welcome by Governor Joel Reyes. A motorcade around the capital city of Puerto Princesa giving the throng of Palawenos and school children with flaglets a chance to express their inimitable hospitality. The beauties also paid a courtesy visit to Puerto Princesa Mayor Dennis Socrates and his Vice Mayor Dong Batu, who similarly extended a warm welcome to them. The Palawenyo convivial spirit took a concrete form when the Miss Earth delegates and production staff checked in at the Asturias Hotel. Here, they immediately felt the Castilian ambiance of the place. A press conference participated in by the ever-efficient Palawan media practitioners was the next order of day after lunch. Some rested and slept the rest of the afternoon, while others were busy swimming and getting a tan. The agenda for the following day was a talent competition held at the jam-packed Palawan Sports Complex. Originality and creativity fused with energy and artistic skill were the order of the day as 27 delegates regaled the Palawenos with their talents, proving indeed that there was more to them than just beauty and brains. Early the next day, the girls played nurse and gave comfort to patients who flocked to the medical mission which served as the gift of Governor Joel Reyes to his constituents on the occasion of his birthday. After lunch, the Miss Earth Beauties embarked on a 55-minute boat ride to the famous island paradise of Dos Palmas Resort, where they were enthusiastically met and welcomed by resort manager and owner, Mr. Ivan Lim. The rain-drenched sky upon their arrival did not stop the fun-filled activities of these beauties. Swimming, snorkeling, and scuba diving were the activities of the day, as well as video shoots. Mr. Ivan Lim hosted the 42 candidates to a very sumptuous dinner later in the evening. The following day marked another pageant activity. 42 of the sexiest women from all over the world get ready to compete in the swimsuit competition held at the elaborately decorated Dos Palmas grounds. After two unforgettable days at Dos Palmas, the girls headed back to Puerto Princesa again to enjoy a city tour in the afternoon with a dinner and some dancing at night. Finally, after one week of domestic travel, the candidates flew back to Manila and returned to their official residence. No sooner had the girls unpacked and settled down when they had to leave for the Philippine Army's Luna Hall, headed by Lieutenant General Jaime de los Santos, to start their pageant rehearsals. They had a nerve-wracking one-on-one pre-judging interview with a panel of judges. Cocktails after, hosted by Hotel Intercontinental Manila. And a street party and some auction at Venezia. Pageant rehearsals for the big night resumed the next day and another auction activity at the Cafe Overdrive at night. The following morning was spent in a courtesy visit to Environment and Natural Resources Secretary Kijerson Alvarez, who aptly gave some enlightening talk to the girls on environmental issues. 
The next day marked the last of the long series of pre-pageant competition, the Long Gown Competition. This time, the city of Mandaluyong, led by its young and energetic mayor, Ben-Hur Abalos, hosted the environmental beauties. They planted several trees around the city hall grounds, after which Mayor Abalos gave the Miss Earth beauties the symbolic key to the city. Needless to say, the city residents thoroughly enjoy the night of elegance, poise, and grace. As each delegate from all the continents of the world excitedly wait for the moment the first ever Miss Earth title holder is revealed, each young lady here with us tonight will surely bring home with her beautiful memories about the pageant, the Philippines, and the reaffirmation of their care and love for Mother Earth. Wow, as you can see, and they really have been very, very busy, and it's a lot more to it than just putting on a dress, getting your hair done, and turning up tonight, isn't it? Very, very, a lot entails. Now, there's a very difficult uh, task ahead of us tonight, uh, which is going to be helped along by our esteemed board of judges. So I'm going to introduce them to you, starting off with the chairman of the board. Our Ramon Max Saisai Awardee for public service for the arts and one of the 10 outstanding women in nation's service. Please welcome the communications director of Miss Earth Savers Movement, Mr. Sil Girote Alvarez. We have with us a world-renowned pop singer and owner of a band in Japan. She's also the chief operating officer of the ABA Hotel Group. Let's hear it from Miss Fumiko Matoya. <laughs> Joining the panel is the Vice President for Marketing of Avon Cosmetics Incorporated. A warm round of applause, please, for Mr. Paul Langos. <laughs> Our next judge is a genuine woman of the earth because of her own personal efforts in environment conservation. She's a gorgeous model, talented singer, and an intense actress. How about a warm round of applause for Ms. Chin Chin Gutierrez? <laughs> Another one of our esteemed judges for tonight's pageant is the general manager of Hotel Intercontinental Manila, the official home of the Miss Earth 2001 delegate. Let us give a big hand for Mr. Michael Herman. Thank you, sir, for your hospitality. Adding prestige to our panel is a very dynamic and proactive leader who graciously welcomed our candidates in his province just recently. Please welcome the governor of Palawan, the Honorable Joel P. Reyes. <laughs> Next, we have the general manager for corporate development of Unilever Philippines. How about another big hand for Ramon Giltito Macapagal? Also with us tonight is the President and General Manager of RPN Channel 9. He is also a lawyer and partner of King Cappuccino Tan and & Associates and Corporate Secretary of various corporations in the country. Please welcome Attorney Lincoln Tan. It is my pleasure to welcome the Senior Vice President of Banco Filipino as one of our distinguished judges. Please give a big hand to Mr. Romeo Alvila. And also included in our distinguished board of judges is the chairman of Media Arts Systems and Services Company. Please welcome Mr. Norboto Timbal. Thank you to all of our judges. I certainly don't envy the tall order you have in place for you tonight. Now, as I mentioned before, all of our delegates have their own perspectives on how to save Mother Earth. That is actually what sets these beauties apart from the rest, and I do say so. When we return, we shall present to you the winners of our very own special awards. But before that, here's a piece of earth-friendly advice from our delegates. We'll be back. The wooden paper we throw away is enough to heat 15 million homes for the next 20 years. Let's start using recycled wooden paper. Hi, this is Samita, and I come from India. Help me to help save our environment.
In the light of the September 11 events, many people were wondering, would this event even push through? People were expecting dismal attendance rates. But what thi one thing they didn't take into consideration is that our contestants are all troopers. They are some tough girls back there. And believe it or not, well, obviously, they're all here. Everyone signed up quite enthusiastically. Well, I guess that actually goes to prove that countries do realize that cleaning up the world, our planet, and everything really is a good cause for unifying the world back together again. I really think so. And I'm sure that all of our delegates were actually glad to experience the natural beauty of the Philippines up close and personal, pre-pageant, of course, held in exotic places like Dos Palmas in Palawan, Batangas, Pichuas Cebu, and right here in Manila. And against the backdrop of this island paradise, special awards were given to the following delegates. The first award is for Miss Photogenic, and this goes to the candidate who can always project a stunning image, no matter what situation she may be under. Okay, and this lady was chosen from the press photographers who came and saw the ladies during their press presentation to the media. And Miss Photogenic is Miss Argentina. Daniela Stukan. Congratulations, Miss Argentina. Congratulations, indeed. All of our can candidates proudly displayed their national costumes during the pre-pageant competition held at the Hotel Intercontinental in Manila. It was a fantastic and very colorful spectacle, indeed. And the best in national costume award goes to Miss India, Shamita Singer, who wore a fabulous gold and maroon ensemble of richly embroidered Indian sink. She also received a cash prize of $1,000 from Waterfront Hotel in Cebu. Now, the talent competition was another unique experience. The delegates were impressed by, uh, sorry, the delegates impressed the audience with their wide range of skills. And in the end, it was a lady who we politely refer to as the sensual belly challenging act who prevailed. Miss Talent was won by Miss Latvia, Yelena Kirani. <laughs> Miss Latvia gets a special prize from Banco Filipino for that feat. Banco Filipino, ang bankong subok na matibay, subok na matatag. Well, all that bonding and togetherness eventually brought out the best in our delegates. And here are some of the reasons why our candidates chose this particular lady as the most congenial of all. I voted for Miss Friendship because I thought she was a lot of fun. She's very nice and very friendly, very kind and warm. She always has a big smile in her face. Outgoing, sweet, and sensitive, a big heart, very helpful, friendly with everyone. To enjoy caring for others. Very friendly with people. Um, think and say that language is a barrier, but for me, it is not. I think the body language and the way a person communicates is more powerful than language itself. Miss Friendship is Miss Japan, Miss Suzu Hirayama. And after all that island hopping, it was time to go back to Manila and see who looked the most regal and most elegant in their evening wear. The prestigious Best in Long Gown Award was given to the youthful Miss Philippines, Colleen Aguilar. But of course, the special citation that kept the adrenaline up was the Best in Swimsuit Award. Although we had a great visual feast of the girls in their swimwear at Dos Palmas Resort, 
we won't deprive you of that heavenly sight. Now donning the official swimsuits by Avon Fashions, here is best in swimsuit, Miss Kazakhstan, Margarita Kravstova, followed by the rest of our Miss Earth delegates. I know that all the men are still blinking after that exhilarating video, but before we go any further, let me... Miss India, Shamita Singha won the best in national costume. While Miss Friendship went to Miss Japan, Miss Uzu Hirayama. Miss Talent goes to Miss Latvia, Angelina Kirin, Miss Philippines. Colleen Aguilar is the best in long gown and Miss Kazakhstan. And Margarita Krastova took away the best in swimsuit with Miss Photogenic being Miss Argentina. And now from sexy swimwear, our candidates go chic in outfits by Filipino Artist Designers Association when we return. Tan, Burn, and Everest of two Calone Hezzelini games. Each Calone, the few, will live of 20 pounds carbon dioxide into the air. Let's contribute to the reduction of air pollution by using carpools and public transportation. My name is Victoria Wachol. I'm from Thailand. I think only one of us can do nothing, but when we do it together, we can save Mother Earth. Filipino fashion is acclaimed the world over as it captures old style charms with today's modern trends. And here's a sampling of Filipino Alan presenting all our delicates and stylish creations by the Filipino Artist Designers Association.
Wow, now that is a mix of creativity at its best, vibrant, brilliant colors, absolutely amazing. In fact, in keeping with the same brilliant colors captured in Avon Colors, the official makeup for Miss Earth 2001. At this point, we'd like to call upon Miss Jackie Rodriguez, brand manager of Avon Colors, to bestow this award for the girl whose innate radiance is best highlighted by Avon Colors. And the Avon Colors Award is given to Miss India, Shamita Singha. I use cream silk conditioner to make my hair soft and manageable. And the smell is good. Cream silk to make your hair more beautiful and manageable. This product makes my hair both soft and shiny and healthy at the same time. Meus cabelos ficam sempre com volume exato. It's maravilloso para mi cabello. It's a lot less long. Ah, it's not. From proper use of fertilizers, from hand the earth and the sources of our water. Start composting out in your backyard or balcony. It eliminates the need for chemical fertilizers and does wonders for your plant. My name is Krista Anderson and I'm representing Australia. Let's work together to keep our environment clean and green. Welcome back to Miss Earth 2001, and it's at this point in our competition that we would like to pay tribute and say thank you to our various sponsors, presenters, and organizers who have made this very night possible. However, this very pageant would not have been possible at all had it not been for the work of four very creative and hardworking individuals from Carousel Productions. These people organized, conceptualized, and did just about everything to make this project a huge success that you see it before you tonight. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you and to give a big hand or a round of applause to Mr. Ramon Monzon, President and Chief Executive Officer of Carousel Productions. <laughs> Ms. Lorraine Shook, Executive Vice President of Carousel Productions. Ms. Georgie Felix Vallade, Vice President and Head Chaperone. And Ms. Pichi Veneracion, Vice President and Project Director of Miss Earth 2001. Thank you very much, all of you, for your very tireless energy. And they have been working hard, but they still manage to look fabulous. Yes, they do. Now it's time to give out a special presentation, our special awards from our sponsors. The first award is Miss Lux Super Rich Standout Beauty. She is the woman whose beauty stands out from the rest because of her shiny hair. 
She has that standout shine that only new Lux Super Rich Shampoo can give. Miss Lux Super Rich Standout Beauty is, oh my goodness, I don't believe it, Miss One more India, time. <laughs> Shamita Singer. Congratulations. Presenting the award for Miss Lux Super Rich Standout Beauty is Colette Reyes, brand manager for Lux Super Rich. The next award is for Miss Pond's rosy white skin. And Miss Pond is the lady with skin that's noticeably rosy white. Her skin radiantly glows from Pond's skin whitening, vitamin cream and fluid. And that's for rosy white skin that makes all the difference. And this year, Miss Pond's rosy white skin is... Presenting the award for Miss Pond's rosy white skin is Carlo Endaya, brand manager for Pond. Our next award is Miss Cream Silk. Miss Cream Silk is a woman with the most extraordinary, beautiful hair. Beauty. That, not on, not, that only cream silk conditioners can give. Cream silk conditioners, sa sobrang dulas at lambot ng buhok, isang haplos lang ayos na. And Miss Cream Silk is presented to Miss Argentina, Daniela. Presenting the award Ms. to Ms. Cream Stupid. Silk is Adam Pineda, brand manager for Cream Silk. winner is very much a killer by many accounts. The Miss Close-Up Killer Confidence Smile is awarded to the woman with a winning close-up smile. A woman who stands tall, walks with grace and exudes their killer confidence to get her that winning crown. This year, Miss Close-Up Killer Confidence Smile is awarded to Miss Philippines, Kylie Aguilera. And presenting the award for Miss Close-Up Killer Confidence Smile is Rafael Kalinisa. Brand manager for Glosa. We'd like to announce that Unilever gave a total of $20,000 for these four awards. And we'd like to thank very much our generous sponsors at this point, our producers, delegates who would like to extend their appreciation to our generous friends, including New Lux Super Rich Shampoo. Now with the breakthrough ingredients so you can get that standout shine and pond skin whitening fluid and cream for rosy white skin that makes all the difference. Well, stay glued to your sets, sets guys, because we'll announce our 10 semifinalists right after this.
It's not global warming, folks, but the temperatures will definitely rise as we present you the Miss Earth delegates once more in their official swimsuits from Avon Fashions. By the way, for winning the best in swimsuit, Miss Kazakhstan, Margarita Kravstova was awarded $1,000 by Nestle Philippines. And a little correction on my part here, Unilever gave a total of 20,000 pesos. I'm a little dyslexic, so my S's and my P's are a little wrong for the four special awards. And now it's time. This is the, this is the time I always wonder how the judges do it. It's time to trim down these uh, 42 contestants. We're going to bring them down to 10 to find our 10 semi-finalists. We'd like to thank all our delegates for participating in this initial Pearl Earth Beauty pageant. Give them a big hand. All worked hard over the past few weeks showing off their best stuff to give us that all-important envelope that contains the 10 names is our representative from Sisip Goras and Velaya, the official tabulator of Miss Earth 2001, Mr. Ramon Dizon. This was the man who was going to beat me up during the commercial. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Here it is. This is in no particular order. Let's start with candidate from the USA, Abby Royce. From Estonia, Evelyn Mikomagi. Once again from India, Shamida Singha. Fourth semi finalist, Daniela Stukan of Argentina. From Denmark, Catherine Svensson. In the middle of the pack, from Latvia, Helena Kerai. From Bolivia, Catherine Villaroel Marquez. From Kazakhstan, Margarita Kravstova. Our very own Karlina Aguilar. And rounding out our 10 semi finalists. From Brazil, Simone Regis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 10 semi finalists of Mr. 2001. Congratulations, ladies, you've huddled the first part, but the suspense is far from over. When we come back, we will be testing out the EQ, the environmental awareness quotients of our semi-finalists. So please, don't go away. ...displays discharge fluorocarbons into our atmosphere that deplete the Earth's ozone layer. This, in turn, results in global warming and destroys our protection from cancer-causing ultraviolet rays. Let's stop using products that contain aerosol sprays. My name is Abigail Roy, and I'm representing the United States of America. Remember, a clean environment starts at home. Welcome back. As you all know, the perspectives of our delegates with regards to their advocacy of Earth's causes is an important factor in determining tonight's winner. Although the Miss Earth global pageant has maintained the traditional elements of national costume, swimsuit, and long gown segments, our question and answer portion takes a very interesting twist. Now what we're going to do is we're going to call out each one of our contestants, our 10 semi-finalists, and we're going to show them a still picture which they'll see on the screen here, which our audience will see on the bigger screen over there. <laughs> and they're going to be asked to give a, pre a uh, brief description and insight onto what they see. So let's get this show on the road. Let's bring up our first semi-finalist, Miss Abigail Darlene Royce from the USA. Is it Abigail or Darlene or Abigail? All right, um, let me ask you, Abigail, you're from the US and everyone knows that the US is probably the biggest consumer country. What do you think is the biggest problem as far as pollution is concerned in your country? Being the largest economy at this point in time, um, we're the largest emitter of greenhouse gases, unfortunately to say, and I think that we, should, we harbor a big responsibility to take care of that problem. Um, right now we're using natural gases in our buses more often, but I, I also think that there's a lot more that we can do and we have a big responsibility because of it. That's a good answer. Now, uh, if you'll just look over here, give you a couple of seconds to check the screen out. Hmm, it's a very dark photo. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure if the audience can see this, but it's a picture. There it is, up on the big screen. Now, what can you say about this photo? 
so many things I could say about that photo. I will start with how um, unfortunate and I hate to say it, but greedy our society has been in, in illegal logging. Um, that's the first thing that comes to my mind when I see that. Of course, it, it's not necessarily illegal logging that they're doing there, but also the fact that we use so much paper waste unnecessarily. There's so many things that we could do instead. We could. I am happy that we're using the internet and email instead of so much paper waste. I think that um, there's so much more that we can do as far as writing advertisement companies and telling them to stop sending unnecessary advertisements. Do we need so many phone books every year? It's just, it just is unnecessary to me when I see that, and it, and that it saddens me. Whew. That's more than I could have said about that photo. Thank you very much, Abigail Royce. Give her a big hand, please. See, not only beautiful, but these women are smart. Let's bring up our second semi-finalist from Estonia, Evelyn Mikomagi. <laughs> Hello, Evelyn. Hello to everybody. And I would like to say I'm very happy to be here again in front of you. Again, is this your uh, first time, second time here in uh, the Philippines? Actually, it's my first time and uh, a very beautiful experience. And I was the first one actually to arrive. And so I got to be doing some shopping a little bit. And <laughs> so aside from the malls, which do you think is your best experience in the few weeks that you've been here? Wow, there's so many expressions I can say. First of all, I would like to say I'm very happy to spend my time here in Philippines. Everybody is so warm and happy here and so hospitable people and I love you so much. I feel so much like home here and yeah, I, I believe I will come back. I'm sure there's more than one male that wishes this was your home. <laughs> okay, now let's bring up uh, the next picture on the screen. Give in a couple of seconds, tell us what you think. She needs to go a little closer, is that okay? I'm sure it is. Nice, good, long look. All right. Now, what, what do you think of when you see that photograph? Well, I feel, I feel sad. It feels very dry and very empty. And this is not our world should be. Our world should be happy, green. It should have emotions. It should be colorful. This is too, I feel empty <laughs> about this picture. We should really take care of um, our water, the pollution. We should really plant more trees and save the trees because trees are our number one th uh, provider of oxygen. And it's very important not to cut them, not to cut down and burn the trees. We really should take care of the trees most important, I think, to have the oxygen and have good, um, good air and clean environment. Another great answer from another beautiful lady from Estonia, Evelyn Mikomagi. Thank you very much, Evelyn. And of course, uh, for all of those of you who have been here from the start tonight, this lady is no stranger. She's won a couple of awards and she's up, uh, up for the big one. We'd like to welcome Ms. Shamita Singha from India. Okay, Shamita, let me ask you, let's see, I'm supposed to ask uh, some light question to relax you a little bit. Let's see, you've been here a couple of weeks. What has been your favorite Filipino food? Filipino food, oh my God, there's been so much food that we've been offered the past three weeks because everyone as hospitality being Philippines best value, they've invited us everywhere and fed us so much. <laughs> but I'm a vegetarian. So I've only been trying the vegetarian delicacies, and I love your green mango shake. <laughs> there you go. So I think all the women in this uh, room love green mango shakes too. We'd like to bring your attention to the screen. Take a look at it. Take your time, yeah, please. All right. I see a picture of a beautiful waterfall, and it's a beautiful pond, lake, 
running into another waterfall, I'm sure. I think it's a scene from a forest, and I think our forests have to and should be preserved, not only for us, for our trees, but also for animals that live in them, because forests are their only habitat and their only home. And we do share our planet with, uh, with other animals, other species from the animal kingdom, and it's only fair that we leave their homes to them untouched, not only to protect our own ozone layer, by which if we left the trees and the forest be, our ozone layer is protected, but also we will not then tamper with the e uh, ecological cycle of our society. So I think that is a picture we should all take an example from and leave our planet green like that. Thank you. Ms. India Savita Singer, thank you very much. Good luck. And now we'd like to call up Ms. Daniela Stukan from Argentina. Ms. Stukan, I, I believe, will be requiring an interpreter. Um, all right. How do you ask a question to someone who needs an interpreter? Okay, this is an interesting question. You've, uh, you've gone out during the evenings, I believe. You could use the microphone, please. For la noche, tu has salido. For and, la noche. Uh, and I'm sure you've met a lot of Filipino men. And a lot of... Te has encontrado con muchos hombres filipinos. And a lot of Filipino men have tried to meet you. Muchos filipinos han querido encontrarse contigo también. What can you say in general about the Filipino men you've met? ¿Qué puedes decir sobre los filipinos que has encontrado? The Filipino men is really, really nice and sweet. Yes, like you. <laughs> And I, I feel very well here with, with you. The people here is really nice, beautiful, and friendly. And I hope to come back again here. Whew. I hope she comes back too. OK, now uh, once again, like everyone else, we're going to ask you to look at the picture in the, on the little monitor here. Not so little, but one day I hope to have that. Yes, please. I can't quite make out what it is myself. Burning donuts. <laughs> this, look, look, this, I, the thing that I see is terrible for the air, for, for the oxygen that we oxygen breathe. That we breathe. It's fire, uh, las ruedas de autos que están quemándose. The, the wheels being burned. It's terrible because eh, porque nosotros estamos viviendo en este mundo todos respiramos el mismo aire. We are all living in this world and we all breathe this air es, and that's why it's terrible. Es, es muy malo para nuestra salud. It's bad for our health. Y es algo que no se puede solucionar. Una vez dañado es difícil de solucionarlo. Uh, is uh, difficult to solve, and once we damage the air, it's difficult to clean it up. Uh, we, have to, we have to think about our mother earth, about our life, about the next generations, because they are the future, they need a house. This is our house, and we have to protect it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daniela Sukan from Argentina. This is why now I realize why I should have studied more Spanish in college. And finally, our, the fifth of our 10th se uh, semifinalists, Ms. Catherine Svensson from Denmark. <laughs> Hello, Catherine. You are tall. <laughs> very tall. I feel very short again. <laughs> Not that kind of short. Anyway, uh, being as short as I am and as attractive as you are, how do you deal with men who come up to you, but especially here in the Philippines, are obviously shorter than you? Is height a big factor when you go out to date? I actually think a lot of the guys are intimidated because I'm so tall, so they don't come that close. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Take a hint. There is no competition. All right. We're going to look at this photograph. If you'd like to go closer, please. All right. What I see in this photo is uh, a very nice river where people are canoeing. Um, it, it is very important that we take care of our rivers and our forests so we can enjoy the forest because it is a big part of our lives. It's the nature, and we live in the nature, 
living in a city where there's no nature at all is not good for us, it's not good for our health. That might, that's why we really have to take care of our environment so we don't destroy all the forest because we need them. Also for the oxygen is a very important part of our life. Also it's good that we protect our environment and the nature for our future generations because we have to give on earth for our future generations that's worth living in. Thank you very much, Miss Denmark, Catherine Svensson. And there you have it, our first five semi-finalists. Welcome back. We are all part of a global mission to save our environment. And this is the reason why Miss Earth 2001 has received a lot of support from important entities such as the United Nations Environment Program and American Global Release, two leading international prime movers of international projects. Locally, we received solid support from the Department of Tourism, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, and the Metro Manila Development Authority. Thank you to you all. Now, I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Let's hear the insights of our next five semifinalists. Let's bring in Miss Latvia, Yelena Kiran. Hello, Yelena. Did I get your name right? Yelena? That's right. Okay, now, Yelena, I have to... Let's see, ask you a little question here. Hmm. You've been here for a couple of weeks. What has been your most memorable experience here in the Philippines? There are a lot of, of experience I've got in the Philippines. But of course, I was very impressed by the hospitability of Filipino people. Very friendly people and very, very hospitable. Thank you. Okay, now uh, you know how we do this. We're going to show you a picture here. You're going to, to, give a, you're going to be given a few moments to look at it. Just give us your reaction to that picture. I feel very sad seeing, seeing the pictures like that because during last years, uh, because of the people's uh, interaction, careless interaction in nature, uh, we have a lot of pr problems, uh, environmental problems like air pollution and uh, world ocean pollution, destruction of the ozone, uh, ozone layer, and uh, a lot of other problems. And this is also one of the problems uh, with trash. I think uh, we have to think about, about our nature. We have to, to do everything we can, everything. Uh, just uh, every people, uh, every man, can do something for nature. Thank you very much, Ms. Elena Kirai from Latvia. Thank you. Now we'd like to uh, bring to the floor Ms. Catherine Villaruel from Bolivia. <laughs> Hello, Catherine. Hello. Hello, Filipinas. <laughs> and how are you today? You nervous just a little bit? Sí, necesito un intérprete. She's I, feeling nervous. Whew, thank God she's here. I didn't understand a word Catherine said. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. You're from Bolivia. And uh, what was your favorite place that you visited in the last few weeks here? ¿Cuál es tu lugar preferido de todos los que has visitado aquí? Todos. Todos. Para mí, desde que llegué acá a Filipinas, ha sido un paraíso. She likes Manil. everything she has seen in the Philippines. She thinks Philippines is a paradise. Manila es divino. Palawa es un sueño. Dos Palmas es un paraíso. Para mí, Pera. toda Filipina es divina. Siento como si estuviera en mi casa. Uh, for her, Manila is very nice. Palawan is beautiful. Cebu is also very, very... Dos Palmas is also very, very nice. And she feels as if she is at home. Thank you very much. Now uh, we're going to show you a picture again. Quieren que diga que veo una foto. Bueno, la verdad que yo no veo más que pocas plantas. Veo como que la tierra está fea. Y yo pienso que si nosotros no ponemos un alto a esto, Vamos a seguir viendo así la tierra. Yo she no only, sí, she only sees few plants and ugly earth. And she thinks that if we don't stop this... Como les decía, yo pienso que si nosotros no ponemos 
un fin a esto, a lo que está pasando con el medio ambiente, a la tala de árboles, a la contaminación de los ríos, no ponemos un alto a esto, vamos a tener la tierra, como la estoy viendo en esa foto, sin árboles, sin plantas, que son los pulmones de nuestra tierra. She believes that if we don't stop all this, uh, we will have an earth like this. If we don't stop uh, water pollution, air pollution, river pollution, we will end up having an earth like this one that we can see here. Quiero pedirles de todo corazón a todos ustedes que, que pongan su granito de arena, que hagan que esta tierra sea más linda de lo que es, que no se destruya. She wants to beg to everybody here to put your little uh, grain of soil, of sand, in doing whatever you can, so that the soil, the earth, will be kept beautiful as it is now, still. Thank you very much, Catherine Villuel of Bolivia. Thank you. Whew, all right, the seventh of our 10 semifinalists from Kazakhstan, Margarita Kravstova. Another stunner. Oh, a big, you have, uh, you have some fans up there. All right. Um, really? You, you didn't know anyone from uh, Kazakhstan lived in the Philippines? I think so, because <laughs> I want to say in the first good evening everyone again. And I'm so happy to be here. And uh, I'm so happy because I was born on a mother earth. It's very, very important for me. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we have our interpreter here. Okay, uh, we're going to show you a photograph. A very pretty photograph, too. Okay, would you like to say something about this now? Mm, I like it. <laughs> oh, this picture just like a paradise, really. Mm. And uh, this, uh, this time, it's just like a, a psychologic experience, really, for me. <laughs> oh, it's very beautiful. So many, I think it's a tropical place. And uh, so many beautiful trees, uh, so green. And um, I see a uh, blue sky. And um, I wanted to be there. Yeah. And uh, I hope, I hope, really hope that um, Every place, every, every country um, in our planet uh, will we'll have this, uh, that kind of picture and uh, real, in a, in a real life. It's because it's very important for us, it's very important for Mother Earth and uh, we must, we must, uh, we, have to, we, uh, we have to be sure uh, that we, um, we, will, uh, we have to stay our uh, planet. Um, and, uh, to be, <laughs> sorry, very uh, uh, clown and uh, very valor for our next generation and because it's very, very important for, for us and for our future, for future our planet. Thank you very much. Salamato. Thank you very much, Ms. Margarita Kravstova from Kazakhstan. Thank you. She didn't need an interpreter. She did fine. Ha, ah, here we go. You gotta love your own. Miss Carlina Aguilar from the Philippines. <laughs> you don't need an interpreter. You, no, you don't need an interpreter. <laughs> no. Okay, you're, you're, you're playing host. You're from, this is your hometown. This is home base. Um, what can you say about the rest of our delegates? What's it like competing with them? Is it difficult? Is it hard? Is it easy to be the host or is it difficult to be the host? Um, I'm really honored to be the host country to the Miss, uh, to the first ever Miss Earth, because I can promote environmental awareness as well as tourism, and to show them how beautiful Philippines is and safe, and how safe it is now. Yeah, we need that. Now, um, here we go. Picture. Uh huh. It's a very interesting picture, isn't it? <laughs> that is not my dream wedding. No. Actually, <laughs> are you ready? All right. Well, this picture is an example of environmental terrorism. 
look at those masks, those scary faces, well, we, we should prevent, if not totally stop, further destruction of our Mother Earth. And we should be, and we should be able to do our share towards environmental protection. I believe we can, we can do this if we are all united. Thank you. And there you go, Carlene Pilar from the Philippines. Thank you very much. And last but not the least, Ms. Simone Regis of Brazil. Hello. Uh huh. Brazil, Brazil. What is the, if you were to ask people from the Philippines to go to Brazil, what is the most inviting natural beauty that you can tell us about to invite us over to Brazil? Qual é a beleza natural do Brasil que você diria para as pessoas daqui visitar? Bom, em primeiro lugar, no Brasil há belíssimas praias, como aqui em Filipinas tem belíssimos paraísos para nós se banharmos. Em primeiro também... lugar, tem aqui, uh, no, <laughs> in first place, um, in Brazil there are beautiful beaches, just like here. There are beautiful paradise beaches. É, é, no meu país, é, primeiro que também tem o pulmão do mundo, a floresta amazônica, onde tem diversas espécies de animais, onde muitos só existem no Brasil. Secondly, there's the Amazon, which is the which is Earth's lung, and there's many different species of animals and plants there. E também é, eu achei muito interessante aqui em Filipinas o jeito que as pessoas nos trataram e a preocupação que o povo filipino tem com o meio ambiente. Isso me motivou muito e me chocou. Isso, eu gostei muito do, do povo daqui pela, pela hospitalidade, pela preocupação com o meio ambiente em geral. Um, also, she really liked the people here because of the care they take for the environment and for, um, like, they're always trying to promote awareness in the people, and that really motivated her to try harder. All right, now uh, if, you'd look, uh, if you'll just look at this photograph, we'd like to see what you have to say about it. Bem, o que eu penso dessa figura é, é um dos momentos mais saudáveis, mais bonitos do dia a dia, naturais, em que podemos beber da fonte, direto da fonte. E isso nos preocupa muito porque o nosso planeta onde vivemos tem uma capacidade limitada de água. Um, she thinks it's a very beautiful picture because it shows the pure joy of drinking fresh, clean water. And she thinks that um, the world has unlimited water and we just have to keep it clean. E isso temos que nos motivar e nos unir, não importa a língua que falamos não importa a religião, raça ou cor, para que todos uníssemos forças para proteger nossos elementos da vida, que é a água, a terra, o fogo em geral. Um, and she thinks that we need to be motivated and united to keep the water, the, the pollution out of the water and the air, and that we need to be united together to keep the, our world and our water supplies like this. Thank you very much, Ms. Simone Regis from Brazil. And there you have it, the last five of our 10 semi-finalists. <laughs> well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Not only beautiful, but very, very smart as well. And I definitely think that our 10 semi-finalists have given us some very good personal views as to how we can help to solve nature's predicaments. When we return, we will be meeting our delegates in the swimwear round, courtesy of Avon Fashions. And that is definitely something that you do not want to miss. So stay right where you are, and we'll see you back here when the Miss Earth 2001 pageant returns. You just can't get enough of a lovely vision. So here to parade for us once again in their Avon costumes are our 10 semi-finalists, ladies.
Our first semi-finalist is from the US of A, Abigail Darlene Royce. She's 25 years old. She weighs in at 125 pounds. Her stats are 35, 25, 35, and she's a lovely, luscious 5'9". She owns and manages her own new age IT business, enjoys reading self-help books, likes watching romantic comedies with Julia Roberts, grew up in a single parent family, hosted 20 foster children growing up, and she just loves to dance. Next up is Miss Estonia, Evelyn Mukamadi, 21 years of age. She stands at 5'8", weighs in at 125 pounds. Her stats are 36.5, 25, 34.5. She's a student taking up film and wants to end up producing films. She's into water sports, swimming, scuba diving, sailing, and winter sports. She enjoys dancing very much and helps preserve nature by not smoking and recycling. Please welcome Miss India, Shamita Singer. She's 22 years of age. Her stats are 34, 25.5, and 36. She's 5 foot 9 and weighs in at 119 pounds. She's got a degree in English literature and is taking up business management. She wants to open up food shops all across the... She's a published writer. She writes feature articles about travel, fashion, leisure, and many others. She's a strict vegetarian, and she's joined many copious animal welfare groups. Welcome Miss Argentina, Daniela Alejandra Sucan. She's 22 years of age, obviously a very firm favorite. She's five foot ten and a half. She weighs in at 129 pounds. She's 35.5, 25.5, and 37. She's a student taking up music and wants to be a music professor. She loves the blues and romantic songs. Well, she's in the right country for that. She plays the guitar and composes songs, dances the tango, and thinks the most severe environmental problem in a country is air pollution. Once again, here is Miss Denmark, Catherine Svensson. She's 21 years of age. She weighs 139 pounds. She's 5 foot 11, and she comes in at 35, 25, and 37. She's in law school at the moment. She's a professional equestrian, won first place in a major jumping competition, and her horse's name is Macarena. She keeps fit by playing tennis, rollerblading, skiing, and doing aerobics. She believes that Miss Earth pageant can help promote environmental awareness. Yelena Kirena, Miss Latvia. She's 21 years of age. Her statistics come in at a 34, 24, 35. She's 5'9 and weighs in at 121 pounds. She's a student taking up economics and foreign languages. She loves to dance, swim, and appreciates the simple things in life. Incidentally, she was taught to use chopsticks by Miss Malaysia. Congratulations. Now please welcome Miss Bolivia, Catherine Virayoel. She's 19 years old. She comes in at a 35, 24, 35. She's five foot five inches tall and weighs in at 129 pounds. She's a student taking up international relations. She loves watching cartoons and comedy movies. She's a fun sort of gal who just loves to play basketball anytime she can. She's absolutely alarmed by forest destruction and illegal hunting. Miss Bolivia.
Here is Miss Kazakhstan, Margarita Kravtsova. She's a very young, 20 years of age. She comes in at 5'11 and a half. Her vital statistics are 36, 25, 36, and she weighs in at 129 pounds. She's an economic student, a brain, to say it. Plans to open her own business. She loves modern dance and loves to travel. She believes that nuclear wastes are destroying a country's ecology. Incidentally, don't mess with her. She loves to fence. Time now for the Philippines' own Carlina Aguilar. 19 years of age. Her vital statistics come in at 35, 25, 35. She's 5 foot 8, weighs in 124 pounds. She wants to finish film in college and dreams of becoming a director one day. She swims, plays volleyball, admires Robin Williams and Catherine Zeta Jones. Please welcome Miss Brazil, Simone Regis, 22 years of age. My, my, she's got a lot of fans. She stands tall at 5'10", and her statistics are 37, 27, 38.5. She weighs in at 139 pounds. Her long-term goal is to become a fashion designer. She's been modeling since the age of 15. She's a student taking up administration at the moment and believes that the world's most severe environmental problem is the extinction of animal species. Our 10 enchanting delegates sashay in evening gowns when we return with the Miss Beauty Pageant 2001. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now, at this point, I'd like to say thank you to Jerry Sunga of Couture Jewelry for providing me with these wonderful pieces that I'm wearing tonight. And uh, Mr. Sunga also provided the, ju the jewelry for Miss Chinchin Gutierrez that she was wearing in her opening number that we saw earlier. <laughs> now, since our delegates have arrived here in Manila, they have been kept so busy going from one activity to the next. And just last Thursday, on October the 25th, we had another very glamorous pre-pageant event where the ladies all looked their best in their wonderful evening wear. Now, once again, let's welcome all our 10 semi-finalists back on stage in the evening wear competition.
one. So what is the point of the service then? Mangroves protect the coast by absorbing the energy of storm driving waves and wind. Plus, they have been shown to absorb pollution, including heavy metal. Monitor our mangroves. This is Daniela from Argentina. Miss Denmark, Catherine Savenson. Industrial chemicals cause acid rain, which can fall hundreds of thousands of miles from the source. Acid rain rocks the soil of nutrients and poisons our plants too. Let's develop our industries without killing Mother Nature.
there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our 10 beautiful, 10 semi-finalists in their evening wear. And if that wasn't enough of a sight to mesmerize you, then just wait till we announce our four semi-finalists. And all that will be happening right here when the Miss Earth 2001 beauty pageant returns. right now to thank a very special Mr. Frederick Peralto who made me look and feel a million dollars and for making Jaime, my co-host, look quite dashing indeed. And also thank you to Hollywood Boulevard for dressing those fantastic semi-finalists in the question and answer section. Now, I can really feel the excitement building because in a short while, the 10 finalists will be whittled down to just four ladies. All four don't go away empty-handed. They all go away prizes. We will be crowning a Miss Earth title. We will have a Miss Earth fire, a Miss Earth water, and a Miss Earth air. I'll hand you over now to Jaime to uh, get on with it. Thanks very much, Asha. But before we uh, find out who our four finalists are, we'd like to uh, thank some friends who helped us out tonight. Our special thanks to Banco Filipino, Subok na Matibay, Subok na Matatag. Also our appreciation, yes. Also our appreciation to our presenters, new advanced cream silk conditioners. Sa sobrang dulas at lambot ng buhok, isang haplos lang ayos na. We would also like to acknowledge the other sponsors, like Nestle Philippines, the makers of Carnation, Non-Fat Milk, and Nestle. Vita. Uh, Miss Earth 2001 would not have been possible without the support of Close of Toothpaste, another presenter. Get killer smile, killer fresh breath, and killer confidence from germ killing close up. Okay, here we go. Thank you to our sponsors. We started with 42, we brought it down to 10, and now we're bringing it down to the final four. And once again, May we call in Mr. Ramon Dizon of SGV to hand me that wonderful envelope. Once again, to those who are not picked to be the four finalists, did a good job, but somebody's got to win. Here we go. Again, in no particular order. Finalist number one. Congratulations, ladies. When we return, Jaime will engage in these four lovely women in the final question and answer stage as to who becomes Miss Earth 2001. Don't go anywhere. We'll be having a final and question and answer portion. Now, only one question will be asked to all four contestants before they give their very refreshing answer. And each of the three contestants who are not answering the question will be held in a special holding room. So if we could ask our three contestants. Now we'd like to ask uh, our first our first finalist, Miss Argentina, Daniela Stukan. Hello, Daniela. All right. Okay. They're making sure that the other contestants don't hear your answer. So Make it good. Are you nervous? Not nervous at all. Whew. 
All right, are they ready? Did they have their... All right, we're ready to go. Now, this is the question. If you have any problems answer, uh, understanding the question, just ask me, I'll repeat it again. Technology makes life very convenient, but it's also being blamed for certain environmental problems. Ah. La tecnología nos That's hace todo part. muy conveniente, muy asequible, pero también tiene problemas. Okay. How do you propose to find the balance between technology and earth preservation? ¿Cómo propones hacer un balance entre la tecnología y la preservación de la tierra? Okay. Uh, I think that the technology is very important for the world at this time. But some, sometimes uh, it's used bad for bad things, like wars. Uh, today is a war, and it's not good. I think this, is, this depends uh, of us. We have to use for good things, like create uh, things that not polish the, the nature. It's good, I, I'm telling, okay? <laughs> uh, for clean, this clean the streets, clean the water, clean the air for do a safe world for save the world that's that i think thank you very much a very good answer miss argentina it is technology makes life very convenient but it is also being blamed for certain environmental problems how do you propose to find the balance between technology and earth preservation well, of course, technology does make a lot of problems for us, and environmental problems, but we can do something to make it better. For example, in Denmark, we, um, we do a lot of farming, and we, do a lot of, uh, we use a lot of uh, te technology to make it easier for us. But that also means that we do a lot of chemicals that we spread down, and it goes down to our groundwater, and it makes the groundwater worse. So what we can do, and what we are doing at the moment, is through law and regulations, try and make uh, regulations of what chemicals are allowed to be used and also thereby make controls and what chemicals are used so we can make that less. Thank you very much. <laughs> Katharine Svensson. Thank you. All right, here's your question. Technology makes life very convenient, but it is also being blamed for certain environmental problems. How do you propose to find the balance between technology and earth preservation. Tecnologia faz a vida bem mais fácil pra gente, mas também está sendo culpada por causar problemas ao meio ambiente. Qual é a sua proposta para achar o equilíbrio entre tecnologia e o bem-estar do meio ambiente? Bom, primeiramente, é, no mundo inteiro existe muito desemprego e essas pessoas vêm da, do modo natural a vida, não precisam usar tecnologia, computador, e nem a fazendo disso a poluição do meio ambiente. Um, as pe um, people come to the world in natural way. They do not need technology in their everyday life. They do not need it to survive. E também é, tudo que acontece de tecnologia, nós fazemos tanta tanto proveito a respeito da, te da tecnologia, mas não es nós esquecemos do lado da proteção à nossa mãe natureza. Um, we use technology every day, and we, um, we use it every day, but we also forget that we need to protect Mother Nature in doing so. E, primeiramente, para acabar assim, para diminuir um, um número de tantas é, fábricas que poluem o nosso meio ambiente, teriam que ter um programa de conscientização, primeiro nas escolas, e primeiramente também dentro das fábricas, das usinas, para que diminua o número de, de poluição no mundo. Um, she thinks that a good thing to um, um, decrease the number of um, technology companies and the pollution caused by technology would be to create a program to bring awareness to the people, firstly in schools and then reaching out to people inside the in industries themselves. Thank you very much, Ms. Brazil. Atak Margarit, bapros takoy, but teknologiya dia lait jizen dia tapos tobi udobna. Akak ti mo sa spread palagat mesdu teknologiye i preservatse 
мира, чтобы предполагать можно а, между технологией и презервацией мира. Я, простите, не поняла предпоследнее слово. Для того, чтобы баланс делать, yes, для того, чтобы технология и презервация мира. Hello again. Uh, я думаю, что... Я думаю, что не один человек задумал, задумывался об этом уже, потому что э, да, наш мир с каждым днем прогрессирует. Э, технолог... Думаю, что на протяжении нашего прогресса, всего нашего прогресса, все думали об этом и не раз задумывались. Но как? Может быть, нам стоит подумать, что может лучше отказаться от каких-то не очень важных, не очень, действительно, не очень важных для нас вещей, но ведь жили же люди до этого без каких-то там малейших продуктов, скажем так. Okay, uh, I think that uh, technology um, means progress and that every one of us has to really think about progress, think about technology, but if technology will destroy the earth, I think we have to do something about it. И, конечно же, thank you. И, конечно же, я думаю, что нам нужно всем задуматься о том, что Давайте попытаемся найти э, какой-то компромисс, найти, э, использовать сырье э, ну, как-то по-другому, чтобы э, наши дети, наше будущее не дышало этим грязным воздухом, чтобы мы э, употребляли только чистую воду. Я думаю, что для этого очень, есть очень много способов. Это энергия, ветер, вода и солнце. I think we have to compromise. Uh, so that uh, our children could breathe uh, clean air, uh, clean water, and so that we can live in this earth uh, beautifully. There you have it, Miss Margarita Kratstova. Thank you very much. And there you have the four finalists for the very first Miss Earth 2001. So just uh, in a couple of minutes, we'll know who the first, oh, excuse me, first Miss Earth will be well i think those women all answered those questions fairly well it's going to be a very tough decision indeed and i'm sure they're all extremely excited to find out whether or not they've actually won miss earth herself but uh, let's feed the frenzy a little bit more and find out what's happening in the prize showcase and i'm going to send you over now to miss emma who's going to tell us what's in store when we come back to miss earth 2001 Approximately 50 acres of rainforests are destroyed every day. Rainforests are important not only to conserve the Earth's fast diminishing water supply, but also to protect towns and cities from floods. Let's plant trees and protect our rainforests. I'm Carlina Aguilar, representing the Philippines. Let's be responsible for our actions, because the Earth is God's gift for us. Welcome back, everybody. Wow. The thrill of being chosen as the first Miss Earth ever is just enough of an award to please any woman for the rest of her life. But aside from the crown and the scepter, there is also the treasures of the Miss Earth 2001 showcase. And if you want to see what I'm talking about, then take a look at these. The Miss Earth 2001 Spill of Pride. Speechless, what a lucky girl. Mind you, I have to say that Miss Earth 2001 is going to be a pretty exceptional young woman. Why don't you stick around and find out what actually happens and who actually is Miss Earth when we come back in Miss Earth 2001. Our judges have come up with the most challenging decision of the night. 
And our official tabulator, Sisip Gores and Velayo, have summed up the final scores. At this point, we'd like to introduce the presenters of our major titles. To crown Miss Earth Fire, we have Mr. Gerald Javier, brand manager of Carnation Nonfat Milk, and Miss Fumiko Motoya. Miss Earth Water receives her crown and sash from Mr. Romeo Avila, Senior Vice President of Banco Filipino, and Miss Chin Chin Gutierrez. Crowning Miss Earth Air is Mr. Paul Lancos, Vice President for Marketing of Avon Cosmetics Incorporated, and the Chairperson of the Board of Judges, Miss Cecil Guidote Alvarez. And Miss Earth 2001 receives her most coveted crown from Mr. Chito Macapagal, General Manager for Corporate Development of Unilever Philippines, Miss Lorraine Shook, Executive Vice President of Carousel Productions, and Mr. Ramon Monzon, President and Chief Executive Officer of Carousel Productions. Once again, may we ask Mr. Ramon Dizon of SGV for that all-important envelope. Okay, we start with Miss Earth Fire. And she will be the lady to give the wake-up call to end the destruction of our vanishing forest due to fire and deforestation. Okay, Miss Earth Fire 2001 is... Argentina, Miss Daniela Stokan! Saying the seas is going to be the main job of Miss Earth Water. And Miss Earth Water is Miss Kazakhstan, Margarita Krasnova. Now we shall be announcing the winners for Miss Earth Air and the very first Miss Earth. If for any reason Miss Earth will be unable to finish her reign, Miss Earth Air may be asked to fulfill her duties as Miss Earth 2001. Emma will now announce Miss Earth Air and I will declare Miss Earth 2001. Rallying people to clear the air is going to be the priority of Miss Earth Air. And Miss Earth Air 2001 is let me hear you. She is Miss Brazil, Simone Rita. And Miss Earth 2001 is Katarina Svensson of Denmark. <laughs> thank you very much for sharing this experience with us. We'd like to thank all our presenters, sponsors, and everyone who made this initial presentation of Miss Earth 2000 and won a resounding success. Of course, we want to say congratulations to all our 42 delegates from across the world, and we have learned a lot from their insights and passions about saving the Earth. Audiences in India, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East will still get a chance to view this pageant in its entirety when it is beamed by Star TV on November the 30th. Love the Earth, everyone. It is our home. And we'll see you next year in the global search for Miss Earth 2002. Good night, everybody. Bye. Thank you.
question? Oh.